Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And today is Tuesday, April 16th. And it is a beautiful day outside. Oh, the last couple of days have just been spectacular. Oh my gosh. We've been working outside in little bits and pieces, um, picking the next spot of the yard to work on and tiny little steps. Right. But they're showing the difference. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. I mean, you take a little bit of time in one little area and it's just like oh wow all this this whole thing has opened up right so um we are taking back the yard one little piece at a time one tiny little piece at a time and, one uh, vine after a time. I know, my god I'm, the wisteria vines that have run wild through this entire yard and we are just taking them down one right. at a time and however there is as helen pointed out there's something supremely satisfying when you pull and pull and pull and pull on a vine and it finally comes free from the tree and it just comes slithering down yeah. and everything. It's it's just, it's, it is good. So. Freeing the trees. Yep. But as we said, baby steps. Yeah. Uh, however. Um, but it's been the perfect weather for like the last two days. Oh my gosh. So. Yes. And yesterday uh, we had some time in the, Hel Helen was listening to her book while she was uh, knitting. I was just reading because I'm. I am tandem reading books five and six of the Tower, the Throne of Glass series. Um, so somebody put together a list that you should read this many chapters of this book and then this many chapters of this book because they go hand in hand together. It's like... It's one book is one group of characters and another book is another group of characters during the same timeline. Right, but on different continents. So it's just... Going back and forth on the list, figuring out where you're supposed to be um, through this chapter on this book and this chapter on this book. But it's just, you know, I just am so involved in this group of people right now that I'm like, I'm not even going to knit. I'm not going to cross stitch. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to read and just involve, I just like enmesh myself in Terrison completely. Yeah. So that's what I was doing. I finished book four. I'm going into book six. Yeah, Helen did not do it that way. She was listening no, Mary to Beth did, Mary Beth figured it out, and I was already halfway through book five, so I just said... So Mary Beth's been reading one and listening to the other, and now she's going to swap because I'm going to take over listening to the <laughs> book six, and she'll start listening. It's very confusing. I'm really... We don't need to share this craziness. <laughs> so we have all eight books downloaded to our e-readers, um, but it's a uh, one long book so if you got all eight in the series it's just one long thing well that's kind of hard to go back and forth between the two chapters you bookmark <laughs> your chapters and then you go back and forth on the bookmarks i figured this out and that's what i'm doing i'm going back and forth on the bookmarks okay. so that i am you know i'm doing I'm on chapter 49 in this book and chapter 37 in this book. I bookmark both of them and then I just flip back and forth as I need to. It's And then you throw in the listening when I'm listening. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> However, it's working and it's a really, really good story. It's a very good series. It really is. Yes. I, I like these. Book, oh my God, I like these people so much. Book five lagged just a little bit. She's getting more into her... Romanticy is moving more into romanticy as far as just plain fantasy. Right. And um, I have to tell you one she of has her a phrase. favorite <laughs> phrases was he was hers and she was his and oh my god. I am yours, you are mine. I just really I don't need to I, I the Crescent City books I just it's like every other page. Right. Um but yeah, no really I I have I do have a train of thought that I can carry. Yeah. So I don't need it. However, however, the story on this is very, very good. So you just get over it. Yeah. That's where reading the physical gets easier because you can just go. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that. Right. <laughs> um, I just zone out a little bit. Huh? You know, just zone out in my mind a little yeah. bit and come back. Yeah, they just kind of, kind of like, oh, wait, wait, action again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. We're good. So we have notes to follow because we have a bunch of things to talk about. Um... Okay, first up, clubs. Uh, we have three clubs that we do every month. Uh, one is Disney Pixar 
inspired, where you pick a movie, then pick a character from that movie, and dye yarn to go with it. So that is club number one. Club number two is the denizens of the hollow. We look at animals, real and imaginary, that might come visit us here at the hollow and um, dye yarn to go with them. So, and then club number three is... Uh, the third and final club is favorite books and that we take our favorite books and dye yarn to go with them. So, so some of them are favorite books that we've read and some of them are book covers that we thought were gorgeous. Right. Um, because one time we did it, we picked a book cover that we really liked and then I listened to the book to go with it and I actually wound up liking the book very much. That was The Familiars from a couple of months ago. Right. Um, this past month we did The Fairy Queen and... Which we had both read in school, but... Not I one that I would go back to. I love. <laughs> It's not one that I would go back and read. But it was a really, really pretty cover. <laughs> it was a gorgeous so. cover. So we went with the cover rather than the interior, right. <laughs> shall we say. I'm sure it has its merits. It does. And it was, you know, it, it's just, it's one of those things. It's a, an epic poem. That right. Really, doing that in school is enough. I do not need epic <laughs> poems in my life right now. Every now and then, I I, I feel I just whip out Beowulf. Every I was gonna say, you know, every now and then, I feel the English. Red and uh, I'm I'm gonna reread Beowulf. No, I'm not. Right. I am not gonna. I'm. You know what I'm gonna read? I'm gonna read a book by Emily Henry and enjoy right. it. <laughs> I have way too little time to read things that I'm not going to enjoy. Right. Um. So anyway. Every month we do this, and it's a mystery. So if you purchase it, you don't know what it is. You have no idea until it comes. These The signups are starting on Thursday the 18th and will stay open through the 24th. You get to choose whatever weight you want. Um, and you can choose as many as you like. If you think, oh, I think that sounds, you know, I've loved the right. denizens before. I'm going to get four of them. That's fine. Um, or you can wait and then the following month we show you what everything was. Right. But the 18th through the 24th, if you want it to be a mystery... That's when you have to sign up. So they will all open up on Thursday morning and um, we will dye them after everybody purchases them and they go out the first week of May. The month, right. So um, we will remind you again on Friday, but that's just, it's coming up on Thursday. Right. So. Clubs opening up soon. Right. Okay. We have a Patreon group. And uh, every month we remind you that we have a Patreon group, or at least we try to. <laughs> we, we're not very good at it. Uh, we have uh, three different levels. There's the $5 level, which you get um, mainly you get, we post the podcast ad free on Patreon. We have the $10 level where you get the podcast ad free. And as well, we also do a monthly knit night, which we have scheduled for April. Um, and then we have the $45 level and that you get a skein of yarn and everything else from the prior levels. So uh, each month we put up for everybody uh, to vote on different pictures for the inspiration for that month's Patreon yarn. And those pictures have gone up today. We are working with April showers as our, our theme. So, um, if you are I will a patron, tell you that we know which one we want to dye, whether you pick it or not, we're going to see. I was going to say, if you don't pick it, it may just show up randomly in the shop. <laughs> well, in January, we put up three pictures of dragons and we couldn't pick. You guys picked one, but we couldn't decide we wanted to dye all three of them. So we did. And it was, I mean, it was one that was a winner percentage wise, but they were all very, very close. Yes. The subsequent months, it's um, there has been a clear winner right. each month. The, this morning, I posted the three pictures. So if you are a patron, you can go over and look at them and place your vote. Helen's going to put the picture of the inspiration that you guys chose here. Right. And the, this was March's yarn. It's right. still very confusing which month we're dying for because the clubs were dying for May, but Patreon were dying for April. It's just Okay, so March's yarn was Hello Spring. This was March's yarn. So, purples and greens, little bit of speckle. 
I love this color. Yeah, I really love this color. So there we go. If you so would like to come join us, I will put a link down below for new Patreon members. So for anybody who doesn't know what Patreon is, it's a way of supporting podcasters or artists or musicians or whatever um, by donating money every month. And the five dollars is we give you the the video ad free, but it's basically funding the podcast. Funding the podcast. Um, and with the skein of yarn, you get the podcast and the knit night and everything. But the big thing is you get this the skein of yarn. Um, but it's part of the proceeds go to helping us pay for right. the cost of doing the podcast. And we thank everybody who comes and joins us and does it with us. Um, because it really does help yes. a lot. Yeah. Um, oh, there was something. Oh, okay. So the, the knit night, which is really a crafter noon has been set for April 28th. That's a Sunday at three o'clock. If you would like to join us, you have to be a $10 or $45 member, um, right. to do it. But then you, we will post on probably Friday or Saturday before the, link to the zoom meeting and the codes to get in yeah we do it on zoom so that there uh you guys can it's a conversation not so much like the live stream where we're just talking and reading comments right um, you guys so. actually show up on our screens and we can chat a uh, chat with you right and for those of us uh, those of you that joined us last month um we got cut off very abruptly um however we have fixed that and we now have unlimited time so right. we should not have a problem like that again okay it was very rude Yes. Yeah, this was mid-sentence and it was just like, oh, okay, we're done. I, I do apologize for that, but okay. Um, so yes, that is Patreon. Okay. As you can tell, we're very comfortable about talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then I think last is the Advent. So our theme for this year is um, Under the Sea and we put up a, an inspiration picture so you can have an idea of where we're going with this. We did have somebody get in touch with us via email asking us, uh, telling us that um, due to um, an eyesight problem, she can't work with darker yarns and she was wondering if it was going to be lighter yarn. And um, we go lighter. Yes. We, it's gonna be light, it's gonna be colorful, but it's gonna be a Toad Hollows yarn. Right. You know. So what you will get with the advent is you get to choose whether you want fingering or DK. You get 24 20 gram mini skeins plus a full size skein for the cost of the advent. Um, and then we have a separate listing that is for bags if you want to throw a bag onto your order. Um, and we are offering drawstring bags and three different size wedge bags with the zipper going across the top. Um, we have some really, really cute, fun fabric that we picked out to do it. We're really excited about it. Yes. Um, so <sighs> there has been, uh, we've exceeded our initial goal by quite a bit. Thank you sales. very much. So we are only going to leave the listing open through next Tuesday. Um, and then we, we're going to cut it. So we understand that some people, especially since we didn't do a great lead into it, uh, need to a little bit of time to gather funds for something this size. So we are going to leave it open through next week, um, but then that will be the the end of the advent. Yes, um, so the 23rd, it will be closing on right. the 23rd. We may have one or two extras at the time of shipment, but we can never guarantee that. Um, so if you really wanna make sure you get one, buy one this week. Right. Um, and for everybody who came and bought one already, thank you very much. Oh yes, thank you. It was a lovely little weekend. Yes. <laughs> Um, the other thing that we need to make sure everybody understands is because we have gotten questions about this on other years, it doesn't ship till mid November. Right. So you purchase it now and then we dye the yarn, get everything together and ship it mid November. This is the truest sense of the word pre-order. Yes. Yes, it is. We hate it because we have all these open orders on our queue for the next six months. However, it's the best way for us to be able to get everything that we need for the podcast and not the podcast for the advent calendar and um get yeah, all the colors dyed up because right. we're dyeing 25 different colors multiples and making the bags colors. and it's just yeah. so we need time to do that right. um but yeah that is also as dyers we all learned from the great mini skin shortage of 2020 um 
we need time to make sure that we ha can get the inventory we need. Right. All right. So that is that. Um, all right. Shall we talk some some yarn, I some so. knitting, some, some creative? Projects. Okay. How, how many things are you showing? Two. I have a finished object and then... Okay, why don't you start with your finished object, then we'll talk about my questions about that. Okay. Okay. You guys. Oh my God, wait till you see this. <laughs> He's so funny. I adore him. So last week we talked about how we were uh, enabled to go on a Toft bender as far as their pattern books. We got the garden vegetables, we got the flowers, got the sea creatures. We already had the Imaginarium and the um, Emporium. This is from, obviously, the garden vegetables. And this is my carrot. He's hysterical. Look at his leaves. This was one of those things, I put up something on Instagram when I was doing these that to me, crochet is like a shot in the dark. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and like single crochet, double crochet, crochet in the round I've gotten better at that but these leaves that I was looking at the instructions and I'm like oh my god I'm never going to be able to do these and I'm like just take it step by step right and look it worked so I'm really very I, I very thrilled with him I have complete faith in Toft and um and Carrie Lord who wrote the books um because she's done so many of them. Right. If this wasn't going to work, it wouldn't. she wouldn't have so many books out. Yeah, no, it was more the technique of doing them. Right, and um, following and the following steps. following the steps and everything like that. And it's like knitting. One step at a time. Right. Don't get, you know, read it ahead of time, but then don't worry if it's not making... And don't get overwhelmed. ...sense to you. Right. So... Until um, you get to a stitch that you just can't do, and then... Then you go look it you up. Know, go look it up. Right. This is my carrot. I love him. I used some DK ends that we had. Um, we I had an issue where I had to go digging to find more green. I had just enough. I, um, I should have read the pattern notes. See, read ahead. Um, because she calls for 50 grams of the main color and then 50 grams of this. And that okay. was pretty much exactly what it turned into. All right. Um, so, well, that's really good because, you know... Because a lot of ours are like 20 grams and under. We have, and I know that there are so many of you out there that have bits and pieces of things left over. You know, you finish a sweater and you have 30 grams of it right. or 50 grams or whatever. Um, and you're like, what do I do with all of this? You this is a great way to go through yarn. Right. So, but I was pulling from 20 gram minis and I really, I had to go into another project to get the green. All right, so I want to make some of these, too, because I love them. They're very, very cool. But I am not quite as versed in crochet as Helen is. Um, I'm the crochet master. She, you are. So I have questions. All right, so I figured out how to do the ring, and I figured out how to join it and that kind of thing. And then the first thing you need to do if you're doing Toft books is realize that the UK has different crochet terms than we do, and... You have to pay attention to that. Right. All right. So I have, okay, so DC two into each, into the next stitch three times. That I can understand. I've got three stitches. I'm going to single crochet twice into each stitch. Right. Right. Okay. Then it says DC two, DC two into the next stitch twice. So that means because you have six stitches, so you're going to single crochet into one stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, two into the third stitch, and then repeat. DC two, DC two into the next stitch. So you DC two stitches, single crochet into two stitches. Then you're gonna single put two single crochets into the next stitch. Okay, so why? Why don't they just say DC twice and then DC it's just, two? I mean, the way crochet patterns, it's like knit two, knit two together. Okay. Repeat. Because I'm like doing 
DC2, so I did two double crochet, uh, two single crochets into the stitch. And then I'm like, but now I'm doing another two single crochets into the same stitch and you're supposed to do it twice. So that only takes me two stitches and where are the rest of them? You know, and then the next one is DC3, DC2 right. into the next stitch twice. So if you think about it, you're starting- But that does make sense because then you do a single crochet into the first three. You've got eight stitches now. Right. You do single crochet into the first three, do two single crochets into the fourth stitch and repeat that. Right. And that gives you your So you're bringing okay. your, your bulb up. See, I knew I needed to just ask somebody, but, right. and I, I am finding this confusing. Somebody else might find this confusing. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to ask on the podcast because um, that way you guys can learn with me. Okay. All right. All right, I will start this over again and try it again. Okay. <laughs> I've started this thing 17 times so far, but I'm determined because... Wait till you get to the crochet. I'm making two him. Two together. Okay, I'm going to make him. So, and he's worth it. Yes, he is. Um, but okay, Plus all right. it's learning a new skill. Yes, it is. And it's in, it's good. Yeah. Because I, I don't enjoy crocheting as much as I do knitting. And most of it is because... Um, keeping track of stitches and coming out wonky and yeah. not being familiar with it and knitting. I just am so comfortable in knitting. But, okay. All right. Hey. All right. Let me show you what I've been working on. Okay. I have been doing the, excuse me, let me find this. Right. I should have this ready to go. I'm sorry. I am working working on the Moonset Tea by Ozetta, and I am doing it in vintage hydrangea. And I've gotten to the part I finished my short rows. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally, six. <laughs> oh, so have you joined it and you're working around now? Or no, no, please. Oh, okay. I have to do six more. Oh, because you have to of, do the V neck. Right? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm basically doing the back. But this is what vintage hydrangea looks like knit out. That's gorgeous. This is so so beautiful i'm not even sure you're getting it properly you do get the pink the pink yeah. is just so subtle and so beautiful and it's just gorgeous i mean you know us pink and green together is our love language right. you know we just really enjoy that throw in a couple of speckles of brown oh my god this is stunning this is absolutely stunning. It's going to be such a pretty sweater. So I it's am nice tight fabric. Which, uh, I'm doing you're on it threes. on a three. Yeah, this is it's taking forever because they're teeny tiny stitches and it's fingering weight. But um, I finished my short rows, and now I'm starting six inches of straight back and forth knitting. Okay. Um, well, I mean, perfect TV knitting. It is. Um, I have been a little bit distracted during my normal knitting time because we have You knit puppy. five stitches and you're going outside. Right. You knit five stitches and where's Ivy? Right, we're going back outside. Um, so it's- You it's knit five of, stitches and God, where's the dog? It's it's one of those things. Um, but that's the way it looks right now. It's just- It's, it's 12 p.m. I'm sorry, what? It's 12.08 p.m. Okay. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so this is the one that we did that was from the vault. We brought it back from the vault and I am so happy we did. I'm I'm absolutely amazed that we have not had yes. this going all the time because yeah, this is this so is just us. a gorgeous color. This is one of the ones that we dyed it and then forgot about it. Right. You know, it just went by it the kinda went, it, it got lost in the shuffle. Right. Um, um so yeah. Vintage hydrangea. I have been working along on my 24 birds mystery knit along, Helen Stewart. Um, I am about two thirds of the way through clue four. Okay. Um, I am doing it in rambling roses from our secret gardens, weeping willow. Wings of Wisteria, and then this is 
Midwinter's Night, which was our Hugo's Choice. No? Yes. yes. This was our Hugo's Choice uh, from March. So I have a very good sampling of winter, Midwinter's Night now, so people can see, because a lot of people want to know what it knits up like. I would say if you don't want to be spoiled by Clue 4, don't look, but you can't really see what it looks like. It's a big circular shawl. By the end of this clue, I'm going to be 65% done. Okay. And it kind of looks like I'm, maybe, I don't know, it's a mystery, but the way she's going, that it may end with Midwinter's Night. Maybe 30 grams left. Oh dear. She said it was going to be 100 grams, so. Okay. We shall see. We may have to make a choice as to what goes in at the end. But, so this was Rambling Roses. So that was clue one. And then Weeping Willow, Winds of Wisteria, and the Weeping Willow together. Oh my God. And then here's Midwinter's Night, which is a gorgeous color. And I'm so glad I dyed this up for my, I'm going to do an Andrea Mowry sweater in it. Oh my word. There are 576 stitches on these needles. So I'm very concerned about losing them because they're all yarn overs and everything too. Holy cow. So it looks like I've put Whims of Wisteria in here with it, and it's not, it's the Midwinter's Night has the purple in it. And to begin with, when I first started putting in the Midwinter's Night, I didn't, I'm like, oh, did I pick the right color? As the fourth color, I wasn't sure it was right. gonna work. But now looking at them all. I think it is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm, I'm really, really very is. pleased with it. I just needed to get more of the midwinter in there. That midwinter is such a gorgeous color. Yeah, so. Oh my gosh. Look at all my stitch markers. <laughs> okay, so everybody that we've talked to about this, when they started it and they were working on it, put in stitch markers. Right, because as soon as you get to the lace work. Put in the stitch markers, because so many people had problems with it. And once they put in the stitch markers, piece of cake. Um, so yes. So I have managed to keep on task and schedule right with it so far. I, I'm every time on Thursday when the new clue drops, I'm ready for it. Um, I may go a little bit over on this one, but because uh, it's Tuesday already, I don't know what the hell happened. We're just gonna have to have you know outside knitting time, right? But look at that. So I'm really very very pleased with. It's an the absolutely colors. gorgeous jellyfish. Working. <laughs> it is. Isn't it? It is. I would be we so... We have gotten beyond the giant hat. No, I would be so tempted to just, you know, do tentacles in like the <laughs> green and the pink. And have it be a giant jellyfish. We could have it hanging down from the third floor. Kind of like we had the mobile at the beach. Right. Um, my grandfather in Thailand found a mobile that hung from the third floor down through the... The, the staircase because the staircase all came the way down. down to the first floor and it was just it was part of my grandparents beach house. yeah um but can you imagine that hanging down from the third block <laughs> the giant jellyfish. you just spent six weeks of your life and 180 dollars and you will see jellyfish. it every single day and love it every day and if it's a shawl it gets put away and you don't enjoy it as much yeah okay whatever shut up mary Beth. Okay. I just spent $120 worth of yarn to make a giant right. jellyfish. And lace work. Mm. So, it's um, beautiful. It, it is. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And I am I am enjoying knitting it. The it it gets the rows get very long. Yes. However, 24 stitch repeats so far every single one after like the second or third repeat. I'm good. I don't need to be looking at the pattern every okay. 24 stitches. Okay. So, um, typical Helen, Helen Stewart. Yes. And it's so beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Blob right now. Oh, God, it's so pretty. I can't wait to see it stretched out. So yeah, I, I really, one, once, I, once it's, I am not relishing the idea of the bind off, but we shall see. Ah, it's just like knitting. It is. She's yeah. going to be, you know, you're like, oh, I'm done. All I have to do is bind off. Right. Nope. 
that's, who knows? That's we may we... have another, you know, knit one yarn over. <laughs> and I'm going to have 1,100 stitches. Can you imagine? Um, <laughs> it's just clue number six, bind off. <laughs> that's I, that's kind of the way I see it going. Um, you know, knit two rows, bind off. Right. I cord bind off. There you go. Oh, that will be fine. <laughs> Better yet, Pico bind off. Well, at least I was thinking about it, and I'm like, which is worse? And I'm like, at least with the Pico, you get to bind off, you normal bind off 10 stitches, and then you do a Pico. Right. With the I-cord, it's like, you get knit three stitches, and you've bound off one. Right. So, um, anyway. It's stunning. It, it is. It really is stunning. It's beautiful. This color. Rambling Roses is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This color. And, just, and then the Weeping Willow, we were sending out Secret Gardens yesterday, and these two colors. I love them. Because I, I absolutely adore the Weeping Willow with the uh, yes, the Rambling Roses, because as I said, pink and green. These yeah. two together, honestly, I love these colors. I love purple and green together. Um, and then we were doing the Wandering Path yesterday. We were right labeling that up, and we haven't knitting that at all you just used it in your cowl right and that is just such a gorgeous color it is and with the rambling roses it's just oh. the wandering path is the bluey one right so um but yeah no there it's this was a really good collection yes i love this collection and the um the midwinter's night is just a spectacular color it really is yeah i can't wait to have the sweater yeah that's going to be a beautiful sweater okay all right, everybody, that is about it for us. We have to go plant carrots. Or clover. Or clover. <laughs> we are off to go plant some clover because uh, we have a side yard to fill. We cleared it, and right. now we have to put something down because when it rains, it's a mud swamp. So we're going to put in some clover. Um, Helen has been bringing in bits and pieces of her flowers when as they're blooming our daffodils. They're, we have a... a vase of daffodils right behind the camera right now and every now and then it just walks over right. and I love the smell of daffodils and there were two hyacinths that the stems they got so heavy that the stems bent over so she brought those in they're over the kitchen sink and every time you're washing dishes it's just you're getting yeah. hyacinths I love spring so much I know it's my my favorite flowers my favorite fruit I just I love spring it's, and I'm having so much fun with my spring bulbs this, this year. I just, it's so pretty. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I was saying to Helen that uh, it's next year it's going to be that much better because we're going to have cleared that much more ready for bulbs. And also, um, having worked with the soil a little bit, it's going to be so much better for the flowers. And easier to plant. Right. Um, so it's just, it's going to be... We're going to turn this thing into an Alice in Wonderland right. garden. I mean, I have a bed still that's, uh, the tulips are just about ready to burst. They're like 20 tulips in there. And they're about to and they're just blow about, up. And they're in the, f the front section, fenced off, so no dogs can get into it. The deer can't get into it. All right, um, so where did these tulip bulbs come from? Amazon. Okay, these tulips open up. And they open, they don't just do the folded thing like this. They open all the way up. When they open up, they're about that big yeah. around. They're I mean, huge. <laughs> the yellow one that just went. Whoosh. It is gorgeous. Yeah. She has one that is red and orange that is, oh my God. And it just opened up and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So um, Amazon bulbs. Yeah. Yahoo. Yeah. I just, I was, uh, I needed bulbs fast because I, I decided I was going to plant bulbs. So. I went to Amazon and bought them. And they're super bulbs. Yeah. I cannot wait to see that bed with the the, da the tulips because they're going to be gorgeous. Right. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, and the colors. I can't oh, wait to see what the colors yeah, are going to be. Yeah, because it looks like one of them at least is red. We have no see. idea until they come up. Right. So it's, it's, it's the best kind of it is. It's surprise. Just... All right. So we are off to go do some yard work. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Enjoy this beautiful weather. We will be back on Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time for our live podcast. If you would like to join us for that, go forth and create. And we will see you then. Bye. Bye.